Hi, uh, Eugene Stokes has asked to donate his time to me. I'm, uh, I think, on your list. Catherine Leibarger. Okay. Can I go ahead? Okay. This will be the last speaker. Two minutes. Okay. So my name is Catherine Leibarger. I work as a gardener at UC Berkeley, and I've been there for nine years. I've been in the gardening business for about 15 years. I've done physical labor my whole life. Of the 18 gardeners I work with, five have had shoulder surgeries, three have had knee surgeries, and two are out on back injuries right now. This is just an anecdotal survey I did in my head sitting here. And the reason I tell you this is because I don't think that the highly paid executives who are thinking of the people making these decisions about retirement age, you're probably not doing these kind of calculations in your head when uh, you think about having to make it to 65. You don't look around and wonder how many people policymakers have to think about will their body give up before they make the next policy. Something I think about. In my mid-40s, I'm beginning to feel the effects of age. I don't feel the same as I did when I got into this business. And so for me to be able to make it to 60, I think I can do that. But when you add five years onto retirement age, you may not be adding that on to my retirement age, but on to the age of people just like me who will be starting at UC Berkeley in a couple of years, my coworkers who I care about. And it's not acceptable for me to stand here and let that happen to people just like me down the road. Raising the retirement age to 65 is not something that people like me can do. The second thing is then when we get to retirement and find that the cost of our retiree health care is the same as what it is for executives, the same who can afford to work until 65 physically, that just feels like a penalty. It feels like a penalty when you've given your life, given your career to the university and you retire with a broken body and then you can't afford to keep that body healthy because you've raised retirement health care costs. That's not acceptable either, and we will have to fight that as well. Um, you've got an incredible workforce at the university who are giving our lives to making it a well-run place to learn and to get patient care. We deserve better treatment, and it's not going to function for you to have broken bodies out there working in the field trying to make things happen. Thank you.